Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and I'm back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What if Naruto was the Punisher of Elemental Nations and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, I would like an advice from you guys on something regarding this channel. You know, I've been thinking about starting different what ifs like on Justice League as well as Marvel, Avengers and so on because I have been reading a lot of these fictions online and to be honest, they are quite nice. And I played recently Cyberpunk and it was quite a nice game, although there were some bugs, but it was nice. And I would like to make some fictions regarding games as well. I haven't played that many games since I got the PC and some of them that I have played I have grown to like. So yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? Because the name of this channel is Apollo Uchiha and I wrote in the description that I will do fan fictions and stories regarding many many anime i can add the games as well if you want to so let me know in the comments what do you suggest should i start doing marvel avengers and games you know fan fictions on this channel as well aside from naruto and some other animes as well like naruto high school dxd and some other animes that i have watched as for one piece yeah i kind of dropped it it got boring in the middle so i haven't continued sorry guys i don't mean to anger or aggravate the fans of the one piece but it's just that it is not for me. I'd really tried to watch it for you guys to make a story out of it. But yeah, it just didn't work out. <laughs> I guess. Anyways, if you like today's video, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato, three years after the QB attack, as we go towards Anbu Hospital. It was October 11, a cold night. Even though the village was out celebrating, we see in that sad hospital room a three-year-old boy fighting for his life. Against that, he was mauled and even, well, put into the bed by the sad people who were celebrating. Damaged, injured beyond repair, as people called, or the doctor called, to the sad person who was there. The only person in the village who he spent time with. Here is Sardobi, the third Hokage. This isn't how it was supposed to go. I'm sorry, Minato, Kushina, but I think I have to do this. As Hiruzen got up, quite determined, as he called for Kakashi, is everything prepared? Hi, everything is prepared, Hokage-sama. We can begin with the next phase of this plan. It was a contingency plan that Hiruzen prepared right after the people turned their backs on their fourth Hokage's last wish for the safety of their legacy. As his eyes narrowed and cold, he walked. He walked to the where Naruto was born in a cave as he was there now, where all those three years ago his wife was killed in cold blood alongside many other nurses and the QB was released by a moss person. As there were three people there, and they were none other than the civilian council members who organized this quote-unquote attack. Hokage-sama, please, you don't have to. As they were placed on a ceiling array, brutally by the Anbus. Don't move. Silence, said the Anbus. Hmm, good. As he brought the used scroll with him from his library, the scroll of ceiling. He traced down his fingers on the jutsu that was written there. The Edo Tensei, Kakashi, have you brought their bodies? Yes, they have been brought here. Good. As he did the hand seals and the sacrifices were made. Edo Tensei no Jutsu, rise. As two figures started to rise, or more like coffins. As the coffin slid were slid off. As cracked featured and figures appeared there. On their features were crack. They were none other than Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki. As their eyes opened, hollows, but their pupils with their color. M Minato kun? K Kushina. Wait, this is Edo Tensei. Why are we? It was my plan. They saw an old Hiruzen standing there. Ah, Hiruzen sama, said Minato. Gigi, why did you bring us back? said Kushina. Because after everything she lost, and even when Mito died, he was the person that she called Gigi as. As Hiruzen chuckled, hmm, 
It's good to see you too. But I wish that times were better. As Minot and Kushina were surprised to see the elders that were there from the civilian council that were brutally murdered. Did you? Yes. And once you know the reason, you'll be more than happy to know that they are dead and gone. As Kakashi then stood there, Sensei. Kakashi. As Kakashi then dropped to his knees, I apologize, Sensei, as he started to cry. I could not protect him. I could protect him. I promised, but I couldn't. I failed you. You failed me at nothing, Kakashi. What is going on? Said Minato, getting scared. You will know in due time. But first, you have to follow me. As both of them arrived with Hiruzen and Kakashi at the said hospital room to see a maimed kid with a lost leg and arm. As he was in a comatose state, barely fighting for his life. This is what the people gave to you in return, Minato, for your sacrifice that day. They maimed your son. Danzo wanted a weapon after your death, and I didn't let him do that, like many of your friends. But the civilian council and elders took all the powers from us, and this is the result. As Minato and Kushina were trying hard not to cry, but the sight just broke them. Something inside cracked inside of them. As QB was trying to heal Naruto, finally sighed. It is failing. The kid is going to die. Just what I expected from these flashbacks. They even turn on their own race and on an innocent kid nonetheless. As the seals started to crack, as QB's chakra started to leak out, but QB's head was formed. Hmm. <laughs> What are you two doing here? QB, you, you're breaking free. That, that means yes. I tried to heal this boy, but it is not working anymore. No, please. Please anything. Just save him. I cannot. He is damaged beyond repair, mentally and physically. His chakra coils are destroyed. His tendons are cut off. Even his breathing is a surprise to me because one of his arteries that connect to his heart are heart is cut off oh my god these people are monsters as suddenly a figure appeared there it was none other than the sage of the sixth path father said QB uh, the sage did not look happy one bit elemental nations have been grown greedy this is not the world that I had imagined your son I will give him another chance and so to you people as well my son he's looked at QB what is it you want father you have to help him, and I will bring a person into his mindscape from another timeline, a hero, a cold-blooded killer. Wait, who is this? The Punisher. He will teach Naruto everything that is required, and when the time comes, instead of saving them, he will put an end to this greediness. He will eradicate all this evil from the world. And only the good ones and the innocents will be able to live in peace after that. There is a need of change in the hierarchy of power. I see that myself. Even if the sage is pissed, then that means that we are doing right here. But my son is dying, said Kushina. I know. Then how are you going to bring him back? By sending you all back into the time before the QB attack. You don't need to hesitate. Just kill him. And what you find beneath the mask, you will not like, but you will be enraged after that. Hi. Please do this for us. As the sage collapsed his hand, after some time, a bright aura erupted, and everything was covered in pure white light. And when the aura died down, Minato opened his eyes as he was looking down on his infant son. As Kushina, eyes widened, as he looked at Kushina, did we? As both of them nodded, as QB then said, now is not the time, you know what is about to happen. As before he could do anything, a person appeared, and Minato handed Kushina the child and disappeared in yellow flash, and impaled him with a kunai to the heart, as the man was impaled onto the wall, as he didn't give him any other chance as he impaled the man again and again and again, until his whole body was, well, buried into the wall, thanks to the support of kunai piercing through his skin and bones. Uh, I did not expect it, this. Who are you? Let's see. As the mask was removed and Minato's eyes widened. Obito. But how? 
It's been a long time, Sensei, Obito said. Then why are you doing this? I am doing this for the greater good. Some unnecessary sacrifices are necessary for the greater good of this world. You killing my wife and me is unnecessary because of you my son dying is unnecessary. You are nothing like the Obito I remember. Obito had died that day. Sensei, wait, said Kakashi as a Chidori was in his hand. Die, as he pierced Obito's heart, killing him in cold blood. You also came back, didn't you? Yes. As Ruzen dashed there to see his wife there alive. As Ruzen hugged his wife, Bibaku, it's good to see you. <laughs> Why do you sound like that you haven't seen me, old monkey, in a long time? <laughs> you can say something like that, I had a bad dream. But I have to go inside. Uh uh uh. They're having their moment, I know, but I have to. As Bibaku and Ruzen headed inside to see Obito at the wall being killed as Kakashi finally extracted his hand out. Good riddance. Kakashi said, because he knew how much pain Obito has caused. As Bivako was shocked, Kakashi, that was your dead teammate, wasn't it? Yes, was my dead teammate. Not the person I remember. As suddenly the sage appeared, it seems that you have come back in time. It is it because of my future self doing something? Because either way you cannot remain here. As Minuto then said, but say Sama, you wait, let me talk to my son. As Kyuubi's head appeared, as Biwako gasped, everything will be okay, Biwako. Just listen. Hello, father. Kurama, my child. What is the meaning of this? And why would I do this? As Kurama explained everything to his father, shocking Biwako what was going to happen in the future. How could they do this? This is disgusting I know and how come you became so spineless huh you couldn't do anything uh, I tried but I failed I didn't have any hope after he died my own family was falling apart at one point and keeping Nara to save was getting hard and seeing him like this was just breaking my heart even more it made me realize just how much of a failure I am as he was bonked on the head by Bibiwaku you and I are going to have a long chat the whole night <laughs> Not going to complain there. As after that, the sage who was still there was shocked. This is quite disgusting indeed. Hmm. So I now have to bring back the Frank Castle person, huh? Hmm. As we see, the said sage clasped his hands together as suddenly the whole atmosphere changed. As there stood three figures Kami, Yami, and Shinigami. As the Uzumaki no Mikaze family was shocked and so was Kakashi. What do you want, son of Kaguya? Ah, Kami-sama. I, we know and saw what occurred and what you did was against our rules but it was for the greater good. We too have seen too much hatred spread throughout the elemental nations. The nations that was infected with chakra that you gave to them. It was for the greater good, I thought. But I... Now see that I was wrong. This only corrupted them further. Hmm. Such as humankind. Such as humankind and their nature is. Said Shinigami as he sat on his throne. So what are we going to do now? Said Yami. We are going to bring Frank Castle I hope. Hmm. You know we cannot bring... Frank Castle, because he is under the regime of other gods in another universe. But what we can do is construct a memory of him, his whole knowledge, and that will be transferred into that child, the child of prophecy, whose now aim is only to bring innocent to justice. That is all I require. Thank you. As a golden spear appeared that shot through Naruto's head, as nothing happened. Don't worry, the child is alright, Kushina Uzumaki. Now be a good mother, and you too, Minato no Mikaze. And whatever happens, do not fall back. Even if you have to go against your friends, your family, even if you have to go against those who you love, do not leave your son's side. We won't. We never will. Hmm. Good. 
as after that the sage brought them back but this time they were inside their house as kakashi has stood there silent we're going to need your help kakashi i know sensei naruto is going to be prepared for war when the time comes because he is going to go alone in there not alone said qb as he finally made his way out of kushina as kushina felt weak as the sage healed her thank you as QB then went inside Naruto on his own, as a seal of his own was created. This seal is my own seal that I created to, in, to possess a Jinchuriki as a vessel. And I and Naruto will be working together now, in the upcoming future. Hi. Thank you. As time skip. After that day, many many incidents changed. Five years later, the Q... The Uchihas that were hated by the villagers and the civilian council and the elders who were trying to persuade the civilians that Uchihas were evil were shot down. As the Uchihas were now brought in a new light and respected by the civilians, thanks to Minato's work. And he took back the whole power from the elders as well, stripping down the civilian council nothing more than just giving advices. And even going as far as to eradicate the corrupted ones in the shadows. Danzo was on high alert all time and within these three years his weapon was lost to him there was no way he could get close damn it he said hiding in the basement of his while talking to his people which were none other than Homura and Koharu and you planned that Minato and Kushina will be killed and we will have ourselves a lab dock and now you see it was not how it was supposed to be and something must have happened otherwise this is not possible Yes, you are right, something did happen, said Minato as he appeared in the shadows and brutally killed Koharu as Kushina appeared on the other side, stabbing through Hamura's chest as his heart was now on her katana. Wait, Hanbu? Hmm, don't even bother, said Kakashi as his red eye was glowing in the darkness as Fugaku and many red eyes glowed. Your whole mission and plan has been flatlined, Danzo, and you, now you're the only person that we need to get rid of. You will not. As Danzo then melted into the air. What? How's this? <laughs> I was never here to begin with. As the explosion occurred in the basement. But they all were clones as well. <laughs> Do you think you're the only ones with the clones? Said Minato as he was atop of the Okage office. With all of them being there. See, I told you Danzo was planning something big. He was the one who pushed all of the civilians against us, said Fugaku. I know Fugaku, my friend. But next time we see him, he will be killed. But you have to allow me to kill him, said Fugaku. No, his neck is mine. Minota said, his eyes turning cold. Why are you after him? <laughs> Let's just say a personal grudge of mine. <laughs> I'm not getting in your way then. I'll be more than happy to aid you. Good. As over times, Minato was able to reunite the whole Shinobi alliance again within his village and strengthen it, the inner threats were gone as Naruto reached the age of six. As we see him being trained by Kakashi as well as his parents, he did not know why his parents were so hard on him, but his imaginary friend Kurama told him everything as he thought of him as was. As we see Naruto sitting in his attic, as there was a lot of chakra metal there, as he had a lot of machinery. He did not knew how he created this, but he just had like blueprints in his mind and the needed tools just was built by him, like crafting some things. And his parents allowed him to do though. As Naruto built some guns for his use, chakra guns. The bullets were infused with his own chakra, electric chakra, as well as some other chakra natures were also made by him. These weapons are fascinating, Naruto. Able to kill or blow a person's mind. Naruto now had a chakra shotgun, which was completely sealed off. It was powered and infused by chakra, creating bullets inside the cylinders before they were fired off. They had much more power than a regular shotgun. A twin barrel, that is, as it was on his back. As he has created a skull-like black vest, wearing black clothes and gloves, he has truly embedded himself into the identity of the Punisher. 
as at the age of six he was ready for his first mission. As he was standing in the night time is his father home office where his mother and his other compliance Kakashi stood his sensei. So we're going on a mission. We're really doing this, huh? Yes, Naruto, you're going to wear this on your face to hide your identity. What is this? It's a black mask. Similar to, well, Danzo's, but it has different eyelids. Why is that? It looks like it is, yes, I know, made for combat, specifically for you. That is why you're going to wear this, because it has enchanted seals on it that will keep you away from danger and alert you when someone has spotted you. Thanks, Dad. I will not let you down. I know, son, you won't. That is why I know you're prepared. Kakashi, look out for his back. Okay, so what is the mission, Hokage-sama? Naruto said, as Minato smirked at his son. On the east side of the land of fire border, there is a camp of the bandits that have been raping women. We want you to go there and eradicate them. This will be your first kill. And... Unfortunately, we will not be there to support you, but Kakashi will. He will only watch you from the shadows and guide you if anyone is coming your way. You have to do this on your own, Naruto. I know this can be too much. If there is a shinobi, you will retreat. I repeat, you will retreat. Hi. As Naruto and Kakashi finally were gone, I hope everything will be alright, Minato. Don't worry, hun. Everything will be fine. Everything will be. Minato said, as his comforting hand reached his wife as both of them were scared somewhat for their son but were hopeful because they knew their training will pay off as half an hour later we see at the northern side of the border of the land of fire both Kakashi and Naruto were hidden okay Naruto we're going to go down there from this side the back side of the camp you're going to climb that fence up and going to start from there the last tent all the way up to the front and then after everything is clear you'll go there and confront the boss hi anything else leader nothing now go i will keep an eye out for you as naruto as decided reached there and executed the people who were there some of the women were being raped when naruto killed them and saved the women by stopping them from screaming you're right now get out of here from the back side. There is a ladder there that, that will help you escape. As one by one the women left the tent. And almost a dozen of women were saved. And some of the girls were saved as well. And then after clearing out the whole camp. He finally reached for the leader's camp. That was in the middle. Just to see something sickening inside. He was a pedophile. There was a 10 year old girl that was being... Or was about to be raped there, laying naked. As Naruto arrived there and impaled his claw like kunais that he has built for himself into his shoulders and dragged with all force down, ripping his hands away from his body as he screamed in agony. The girl started to scream as well, but no one appeared as Naruto gave her a blanket. Cover your clothes, cover yourself and put on some clothes, and meet. Other woman at the back alley from the back side there's a letter go now as the girl nodded after putting on her clothes she left as Naruto turned towards the leader you don't know who you messed with kid my brother will hunt you down who is your brother Gato he he will kill you hmm a pity that he won't be able to give you burial what as the Punisher side activated Naruto brought out his New 9mm pistol that he has built as he put it right on the center of his skull and executed a bullet. It was an air compressed bullet that once released reached inside the head, blasted and splattered everything onto the other side. In one of Naruto's mask as Naruto cleaned it as he made his way back to the alley where all the women were ready. Where are you from? We, we are from the land of waves. We were taken here. Sold to this man by Gato. Hmm. As he then said something into his spirit piece. Team leader, this is Punisher here. Everything is done. As Kakashi sanctioned there. Good.
good. Now, how about we go back? Not now. The mission is, the fi mission is half finished. What do you mean? Everything is finished, Punisher. That is an order. We have to stand down. No. Everything is not done. Suddenly, KCM2 erupted. As six black Magatama orbs became behind Naruto. Me and Kurama are going to finish this. Please, Sensei, retreat them back to the land of waves. As Naruto flew into the air, thanks to his KCM2 state, and reached the land of waves. As he saw that some women were being dragged, as suddenly the man who was dragging felt that he couldn't tug anymore and felt intense pain as he looked down to see that his arm was cut off, as there was a blade impaled onto the ground. As a man jumped down wearing a black mask, who looked quite young, huh? By a kid, none other than a kid, huh? Listen, kid, get out of here. As Naruto activated his bloodlust eyes, Kurama eyes. Naruto, your rage, calm down. I can't. Not after seeing all this. I know what you are feeling, Naruto. So am I. But this. This I agree with. You have to end this, but not like this. You're scaring others. You're right. Who is your boss? G Gato. The man said, as Naruto impaled him into the neck with another kunai, killing him. Hmm. You could have asked for information. Shit, I forgot. You still need to work on your detective skills, Naruto. I will. As suddenly another goon was found hiding. Tell me where your boss is, said the Punisher because his identity was it. Who are you? I am the Punisher. I am the judge, jury, and the executioner. As Naruto cut his one arm off with a single claw like kunai. Now tell me, where is your leader? Or next time, I will cut off your another limb. As the man shrieked in pain and sh felt shivers run down his spines and chills as well. He's hiding there on the north side of the land of waves. Please just don't kill me good as then the next thing he saw was a barrel on his center of his forehead and his head was splattered everywhere bursting into flames hmm, fire chakra bullet huh yes fire and air compressed together have you compressed air with all of them not with lightning but for the rest yes hmm, that is so sickening and sadistic one goon less in this world, some people are saved. As Naruto returned back to the old man who was there, treating, tending to his daughter. Hey, please don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, old man. I need to know where this Kata person's base is. I, I know. Thank you for saving us, said Tizunami. My name is Tizunami, and this is my father, Tazuna. Hmm, I see. Can you guide me there? I would like to have a word with him. You are insane. You're just as young as my grand. You're just as young as my grandson. Please don't do this. Where is your grandson? He was killed. He was killed. His name was Tonari. He was my son's big brother. Sad to zoom me, showing an infant kid. Hmm. Who is this? Hinari. I see. Then I will get you your revenge. You don't have to worry about anything. I promise you that much. As Naruto began to walk away, who are you? I am but the Punisher. Naruto said as he disappeared. The Punisher, huh? <laughs> Maybe the people might be able to sleep peacefully now. Knowing that the scums like Gato now has something to fear from. As on the other side, Gato finally heard the news that his whole other camp, which was led by his brother, was destroyed alongside him being murdered. As suddenly, the base lights went off. Check the generator again. Damn it. Just when I need some good smoke. <sighs> As he said these words, he heard screams. What is going on out there? As suddenly, Gato brought out his gun that he had gotten his self custom built. I will not ask again. Who is there? As Gato pointed his gun to the door to see a shadow there. As before he could do that, the shotgun went straight through his gun and impaled him on the shoulder, blasting his shoulder off his body 
like it was nothing more than maiming an animal made out of clay. As lights went on, there stood a masked wearing person or a kid. Who are you, kid? You don't know who you're messing with. As another blast was fired, as this time his leg was off from his body, as he screamed in agony. As one as then he put the rifle back on his shoulder and brought out two claw like kunas and cut the rest of the arm and the leg, and dragged Gato, whose blood was while leaking, to the center of the village, and then impaled him through the pole, downright his ass, slowly killing him, which takes three days, as the whole village just watched and laughed at him and his agony for three days. The Punisher stayed there and gave people whatever was stolen from them. Gato was gone, and the goon that survived, Naruto let him live, because he was not too far gone. He was being brainwashed, but now he saw firsthand what will happen if he goes down this line in the most sickening way possible. And he was the one who brought the Punisher to the bingo book, the judge, the jury, the executioner, as many other villages got the wind of it. A six-year-old kid, from the look of it, being this strong and able to take down two organizations of criminals was a feat of his own, so he was marked as an A-rank threat to the criminals, as many mafia bosses were now putting bounty on this kid's head just for the sickening pleasure of having him killed by their hands. As we see, the girls and their family made with Kakashi back to the land of waves within that three days to see Karo impaled and killed without any hands or legs. A snarl stood there. You did this? Yes, I am sorry I went against your order, leader, but I just couldn't stand still. I know. Good job. How do you feel? I don't know. I thought I shut myself down when I was doing this. As Naruto and Kakashi got away from the village after being their savior and all, and bidding them goodbye. As they were near gone, I mean, Naruto brought his mask out. As he has tears in his eyes, which were blood tears. Naruto, you're, are you hurt? No. These are the tears of the pain that I felt for them. The screams that I had seen, I couldn't take it anymore. Something inside me cracked and I had to do this. As Kyuubi took over Naruto, I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. I could sense something, dar some sort of darkness within him that just wanted to end this corruptness. He was too eager to do this, way too much eager to, than we anticipated. It must be that Frank Castle person's engram that it was uh, put into his soul. I have met that person's memories and saw through them. That man is dangerous. He was a threat to himself at one point as well. But aside from them, he has helped a lot of people. Even going and as far to take the law in his own hands, he has hunted down every criminal and organization in his world, facing even against the heroes or so-called heroes of their place. <laughs> there is no such thing as hero. There is only two t types of people in this world. Either you're good or either you're bad. Hmm, that is the difference, right? But we live in a shinobi world, where it is killed or be killed. You can never be sure if your own comrade will betray you or not. I had the first hand experience, remember? Yeah, I know, said QB. As Naruto then finally was put back to control as he wore his mask and made his way back to, well, the village, where he was alone inside the office with, well, let's just say, Minato Kushina as well as Hiruzen. Are you out of your mind? Why would you send Naruto out there alone? Said Hiruzen. He was more than ready. Or did you forgot Hiruzen-sama that his mission has already begun since the day he was born? To eradicate and purge the evil from this world and he has done a good job said Krishna being the proud mother of a son who has taken things in his own hand to the most extreme to eradicate the evil and put fear in the hearts of those who don't even think twice before ending the life of innocence you can't be serious Naruto my boy I'm fine with this Gigi I'm fine with this Naruto said with a smile I know that I don't like killing and I'm too early for this but this is what I want. I don't
don't want anyone to suffer or feel, well, hatred. I don't want innocents to think that they are alone and this world is just unjust to them. The people in power need to have a reminder of themselves that they were put there for a good reason because they were taught that they were fully qualified to rule over them. And those who are there just for the sake of it and enjoyment, I will put an end to them. Put a more suitable person there. Hmm. And how do you aim to do that, Naruto? By instilling the fear. The Punisher is going to do that. So this is your grand plan, Minato? Making your son living in a persona of the Punisher and placing fear, instilling fear in everyone's heart? So be it, Hiruzen Sama. Yeah, JT. I don't care. If they have to live with my fear in their heart, then so be it. But let me tell you this. Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze and the Punisher are going to be two different people, whereas I will be a forgiving one, the Punisher will not so be. If he deems someone threat, he will eliminate him, no questions asked. If he sees someone redeemable, he will help him. <sighs> Fine, but there are some more threats than we need to deal with. Who? See this? This is Akamichi Choza's brother. Akamichi Choji, we need to kill him, but why would he name his son after this man? Because he has great respect for his elder brother, that is why Joza named his son after his brother. Then why do we need to kill that old man? He's running a cartel, and many of the Akamichis are in it, alongside with some of the Yamanakas and Naras. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well. The elder council as well as the leader know about this and got the wind of it, but they don't have any proof. Hmm. So you want me to investigate and end them? Yes. Soon after, within two months, well, the Punisher was able to track them down and their base. With many Anbus and Kakashi leading them, they were able to invade their base and kill them, and brought Akamichi Choji to justice, as he was executed in public by his own brother's hand. Who disgusted him now to no end. Smuggling little girls as well as drugs to the whole elemental nation? That was no something to do. And that is when people realized about the Punisher. He was much more than that. He was the original savior, the hero that the innocent needed. The people soon started to idolize him. As the Punisher not only appeared in Konoha Gakure no Sato or near its border, he started to appear in other villages' territories as well, and minor villages as well. He even went as far as to the other borders, even in far as to go we see Kumo, Kiri, Iwa, and Suna. The five major villages, he even arrived at Takigakure and brought himself brought herself along with him. Her name was Fu. We go there when we see the Punisher arrive there, because he heard that someone was beating a girl here from a traveler. It was their own village that was beating the girl. Skubi was enraged by this. That one is the Jinchuriki of Chame. As Naruto and Kurama leveled the whole village until no one was left alive, aside from women or children and those who were innocent. The guilty ones were killed off and made an example out of. Fu was taken away from that place. As we see Fu and Naruto traveling back to the village. So you you really are the Punisher, but but you're looking younger than me even. <laughs> that is because I am, said Naruto in a calm voice, which was different from before. Who, who are you? Promise that you won't tell anyone? I promise. As Naruto dropped his mask to reveal blue eyes, tan skin with three whisker marks on each cheek and huge amount of blonde hair. Name's Naruto Zimaki Namikaze. Nice to meet you, Fu. Oh, uh, wow, Fu said with a blush on her face. <laughs> Is that what I see, my little larvae? You blushing at the side of a kid <laughs> who is a year younger than you. Oh, shut up, Chome. As Naruto was surprised, you talk to your video? Yes, we are on good terms. <laughs> like me and Kurama are. Kid. As Kurama appeared on Naruto's shoulder, and so did Chome on Fu's shoulder in chibi form. Whoa, you can do that as well? Fu said. Yeah, we're not some pets said Kurama in deep voice. Aw, even though he looks cute, he has deep voice. As Kurama growled, as Chome chuckled. <laughs> wow, your one looks kind of nice. Like a beetle in an armor. 
Thank you. I take that as a compliment, little larva. Larva? He has this tendency to say or address people like such that he likes. <sighs> Same as me, kid. Like I say kid to you because they foxes usually call their kids little kids. Ah, oh, I see. Why didn't you say so? Ah, oh, god damn it. On one side he's the greatest detective and a killer. On the other side, he's just dumb. Hey, hey, I resent that. Has Fu gotten close to Naruto now? Seeing both sides of him. Has Naruto healed well Fu by tending to her by tending to her injuries that she has received over the course of years from the beatings that she got from the villagers. Naruto was still resentful that he was not fast enough to save her. It's alright. Thank you. Thanks to you, I'm safe. Fu said, as Naruto hugged her close. It's alright. I'm going to make everything right for you. As with a one night rest, both Fu and Naruto got up and went back to their village, their new home. Konoha Gakure. As when Naruto arrived there, he was wearing a mask as people were whispering at him. Is that? That's the Punisher. He looks young, but he has accomplished many feats. Some say he's already reached the S rank in the bingo book. As many whispers were heard around him, as Fu was shocked that this was the same Punisher. She thought that Naruto was lying or Im impersonating as such person, but this was the real deal. Huh, I didn't doubt him for one second. Well, you were the one who said he was acting suspicious. Ah, you're just, you know, being stupid as usual, Larvi. I'm not stupid. Sometimes at least. <laughs> yes, yes, whatever you say, little one. As he reached the Hokage office, as once the office was sealed, Naruto dropped his mask. As there was a scratch on his cheek and another job done. As Kushina jumped in front of Naruto and grabbed his face as Naruto's eyes were as she then looked at his face more contently. How did you get that? Oh, I got this from her. <laughs> Trying to save her and she was scared because she was getting beaten by the villagers. Naruto said getting serious. As before Fu could say anything or even apologize, she was pulled into a hug by Kushina. Oh, it's alright. I'm sorry for judging you. It's okay. As Kushina then said, everything is going to be fine. As Fu started to cry again. Clutching to Kushina, is this what a mother's hug felt like? As soon later, Fu started to adjust with the Namikaze Uzumaki family. As Kushina and Minato noticed that whenever Naruto was around, she would blush and act giddy. Whenever he was not, she would act kind as usual but a little down. As it has been once since Naruto was well deployed into the field again, as he had a mission to take care of with his team, which was Team Raw on Iwagakure because they called upon him. He was basically regarded as a mercenary at this stage. As Fu was home alone when Kushina arrived. You like him, don't you? Huh? What? Kachan? You don't have to lie to me, honey. I can see it in your eyes. Me and Minato both can. But you two are young. Please give each other some time, okay? Once the time is right, maybe you can marry him. Are, are you sure about this? I mean, I don't want you to think that I'm just trying to, you know, use him or anything. It's just that I I know, fool, how you feel. I felt the same way once I saw Minato in the academy. Now, did you really? As Kushina blushed as well when Minato arrived as both Fu and Minato chuckled. But seriously, fool, what Kushina said is right. We are more than happy to accept you as more than a daughter as our daughter-in-law as well. We have already accepted you as a daughter, you see. We will be happy if you become our daughter-in-law as well. As both Kushina and Minato said with a smile on their faces, Fu then smiled and started to cry as well as she was hugged by both of them. But you need to train as well because I would like my daughter-in-law to be strong. You bet, mother. As from then on, Kushina and Fu started to train as he was training hard. Time skip. Many years later, we see that the Punisher's reputation got so much high that even now the greatest of the criminals or drug lords feared him. He had developed a network and soon many Punishers were now coming out. They had different sort of mask code name but the original one didn't have anything on his face. But they all wore 
similar clothes to Punisher. And hence the organization the Punisher was made on his name. As this organization was hired as a mercenary group to eradicate or purge evil people and save innocent. And their job was to protect the minor villages. And that is what was being done by right now. As the crime rate has gone from which was approximately 90% in elemental nations down to only 10% now within the course of years. As the leader of the villages were pleased. But there was one more thing now that Naruto had to worry about. His godfather has arrived back as he was currently resting in his own office which was built by his father inside the Anbu corpse. A new division was created by him. As we see Naruto sitting there as his father and well godfather was sitting on either side with Kakashi sitting next to him because he became the dragon Anbu commander. So let me get this straight. You want me and my team to look into this organization as a Katsuki? Yes, because they have some plans with the Bijus. That is all I could be able to gather up. Hmm, who you have inside that? You know, a Katsuki base as your, you know, information supplier, Itachi Uchiha. Hmm, Itachi Uchiha. Wasn't he the one who tried to kill his clan but he failed and left? Yes, the same one. It was all a plan, son. <sighs> Should have figured because Itachi was a person with good conviction. He would finish the job once he started it. And he was never covered enough to retreat. I knew the day he left something was off, but I couldn't quite place my hand on it. And I certainly didn't knew that. Dad, you were behind this. I didn't want to, but... As Sensei said, we needed some mold there, and Fugaku more openly agreed with this idea. And he hated it at first, but Itachi made him think otherwise. And hence we got ourselves a mole. Hmm, but first I gotta take care of Orochimaru. Whoa, 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 hold on, kid. I know that you are all great and all, and strong. But Orochimaru, seriously? Minato, what's wrong, Sensei? Let him. You can't be serious. You know that... If anyone is going to take him down, it's going to be me, because of personal matters. Listen, Godfather, Naruto said, being serious, I don't play around. My job is not to make people clear their vendetta against the other one. My job is to purge evil from the surface, and Orochimaru in itself is walking embodiment of evil, if nothing more. And that is why I say you leave him alone, as then Sonata came inside. Naruto. Ah, Godmother, what is it? I have done with this new ointment that you wanted me to be made. It will heal any wound, even the deepest wounds, but it will only help you if you have some chakra left. I know, that is more than enough. Thanks, Obachan. Tsunade, you're here? But, but, yes, i am been here, and I have been back for a good cause. A cause that even made me realize that I could help, help purge the evil, because I don't want the others to lose what I have lost, our loved ones. And that is the reason I am back. Thanks, Bachan. So how are the other experiments going? Other experiments aren't going well. What experiments? Said Jiraiya. That does not concern you. These are the experiments that are carried out by my force, with the orders of the Hokage. As Minato nodded. You can't be serious, Minato. Sensei, what the hell is wrong with you? This is what you wanted. We all wanted. Peace. Even Hiruzen Sama is agreeing with me. You can't be serious. Why don't you go and ask him then? And stop wasting my time. As for the Kotsuki, you don't have to worry about. As Naruto was about to finish, Jura scratched the snatched the whole profile. You will not look into this. This is my matter, and I will handle this. <laughs> so much for a great legendary son in you are. You're nothing more than an egotistical bastard who only thinks about his glory and fame. Look, kid, I know what I am and how bad I can be, but I'm not that what you think I am. It's just that I don't think it is safe for you to go out there and face that organization alone, as Naruto's eyes softened for a moment. <sighs> Listen, Jiraiya, Sensei, uh, Godfather. 
my only wish is for those people to be safe. That is why I put myself into this line of work. That is why I didn't go to academy. That is why I was trained by both parents from the age of two. That is why I chose this life. Because I don't want anyone else to have to do what I am doing. If anyone has to carry this burden and blood on their hands, it has to be me. Then what about your organization that is going, ongoing out there? They were the ones I was too late to save. They are shrouded by the darkness as I was once. Naruto said, How could you be shrouded by the darkness? I was shrouded by the darkness of the world. What the world's people has capability of doing with the power that they hold. The so-called power that we all know as Chakra. Think about it. How many bad people there are out there still? within power, in other villages. I have enough cases from Iwa, Suna, Kiri and Kumo, as well as Konoha, and I have targets set out all of them. Sooner or later, I'm going to execute a plan which will be a mass genocide on all those. Naruto, Minato said shockingly, you can't be serious. Mass genocide? I know that. It will be a genocide of evil people, and with proof. I will show them the proof before doing so. They will be captured, restrained, and will be executed before the people after their crimes are revealed. I see then. Master Adam said, sighed. Look here, I'll help you out, but please, you have to do this more carefully. I don't want you to be injured or hurt. <laughs> Why are you so being considerate of me, Master Adam say, uh, you, think you make me look like I'm, I'm doing this for the first time. I know that how you work, but Naruto and the Punisher, they are the different people, right? And not the same one. As Naruto got serious, they are different and not the same. As this conversation came to an end, Naruto or the Punisher got back to his work, as Minato and Jiraiya were in the office. What do you think, sir? Jiraiya sensei? Listen Minato, your kid, he has some issues in the head, but I know he's doing great work. And it is getting results. The crime rate in the whole elemental nation has dropped from 90% to 5%. Now, it was 10 the previous two months ago when the whole thing was discovered. And many people are now resting easy and in peace knowing that they can be safe. The criminals think twice before doing anything because they know they will be hunted down like those in the bigger leagues. And those who are within power still are well paranoid and in fear that they will be the next to be hit and they can never be too long. Our own council has some people who have been made into the hit list. As a huge map was drawn on the wall inside Naruto's room as this is where they stood now. This is the people that are going to be killed and those are the ones that have been killed. He said showing miniature sized pictures of millions of people on the other side of the world. You can't be serious. This many? Yes. They all were connected to one another through a cartel or some business deals. All of them were smugglers of humanoid organs that would be sold to the upper bidder. And some just people bought girls, even pedophiles, bought little girls for their sick pleasures. It disgusted me to no end, but he put it an end to this all. And I am damn proud to be calling myself his father, and so is Kushina. As, as Hiruzen arrived there, you called? <sighs> Sensei wanted to talk to you, Hiruzen Sama. What does he want to know, Jiraiya? Sensei, do you support what Naruto is doing? To be honest, I see that his ways are getting the result, but he is going to cause mass genocide. And I fear that he is going to lose it one way or another. And once you do that, we have to stop him. I know this will come around, said Minato. So, have you prepared any contingency plan for Naruto? Yes. What? That is Pooh. What do you mean? The girl that was rescued by him? Yes. Naruto loves her. And us as well. We are the contingency plan. You can't be serious. You know that more than anyone, we cannot hurt you or her. That is not that. We are the contingency plan because we will be the one who will hold on to his threats to keep him sane. And there is the QB then. QB? You're trusting it from all the people? Yes, Sensei. We trust QB because 
QB trusts Naruto and us, and QB has proven to be a great ally to Naruto. As we go towards Iwagakure, one week later, to see that Naruto was standing there in front of Kurotsuchi. Have you finally done the investigation that I asked you to do, Naruto? Naruto and Kurotsuchi were best friends, even considered as siblings at one point. Yes, I have done everything you asked for me to do, Kurotsuchi Nechan. Here, see this. It all traces back to the Uzushio attack that was led by your grandfather. It all began then, and I tried to figure out what his vendetta was, and you'll be surprised that it was quite stupid. What? As Kurtsuji narrowed her eyes. As when she read the report, her eyes wide. You can't be serious. You know that I have no reason to lie, right? Yes. I guess I gotta go ask him. And you'll be coming with me. I guess so. As both Kurtsuji and Naruto made their way towards Akasuchi. Ah, oh, Naruto, you're here. Come, I made some dinner. Dad, read this. I wanted Naruto to investigate what happened to my mother, really. And it traced back to this... Vendetta. She was killed by an Uzumaki because of this. As his eyes were, my own father? He was the cause of this? Yes, our grandfather was the cause of this. <sighs> Naruto, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we blamed your mother for this. It's alright. I just wanted to, you know, do what I do best. If you don't believe me, I have clues left behind. You can track down each and every one of them and you still will be led here. You have to ask him this question yourself. We need your help now, Harder with something. As Oniki, we see him in his office. As suddenly the lights went out. And the next thing Oniki knew, something of a syringe and a liquid was injected into him through the neck as he passed out. Once he woke up, he was tired. As people stood in the darkness, only one light above his head. Talk. What was your vendetta against the Uzumakis and Konha? What is your real intentions? As he was punched again and again and healed again and again, but didn't waver. But finally he lost it. Damn it, I'll tell you! He said, giving in after the two days of continuous beating and healing. I wanted their power. I wanted our village to become the strongest. By crook or by hook. And if I have to kill some insignificant people along the way, then be it. Even if that insignificant people are your family, <laughs> they're nothing more than tools to me. To come to be used at my own ends means. You see, once I took this seat, I wanted nothing more than to gain absolute power, but Ivo was weak. So, I killed our previous Kage and took his seat. And not only that, caused hatred among my people, so they will go on to hate Konha and Izumaki. I was the one who encouraged the other two leaders to go against Yuzumakis, that they were going to cause something big. But in reality, I was afraid of them because of their ever-growing power. <laughs> As the light went on, to see that many of the council of his was there, and not only that, Akasuchi was there and Kurotsuchi was there. As Kurotsuchi punched him, you lied to us! As she punched him again and again, crying, as Naruto pulled her back. As he brought out a gun, would you do the honors? As Akasuchi took the gun, I'll do it. Goodbye, you piece of shit. As Oniki's brains were blown out from behind, as the whole magazine was emptied within him, as Akasuchi started to cry. My mother, my wife, all of our loved ones lost their lives because of your vendetta and your pathetic excuse of a shit plan. We were happy, but you destroyed all of that because of your arrogance. Well, now my point is proven, and I am sorry for what has happened. You don't need to be punisher. We have brought justice to Iwagakure, and it is all thanks to your help. Otherwise, we will have been blinded by his also righteous points and morals. As many people were crying now, because they felt betrayed by their own leader and their village. Do not worry, people of Iwagakure. Kurotsuchi and Akasuchi will lead you through these dark times, and a new sun soon will shine upon you all. And I know it better than anyone. On the other side, Orochimaru was afraid of the Punisher so much that he was scared to even close his eye. Orochimaru-sama, you should shut up! Kabuto, what is the news? 
You know that I haven't been in Konha, not after I was found out by the Punisher, and he sent me here to give you the message. <sighs> Damn you. I'm getting way much too paranoid that I am starting to forget things and it is all because of that damn Punisher. <laughs> oh, how that mighty have fallen. A voice cackled in the shadows. As before Uchimari could move, Kabuto's body laid on the ground and one of his arms was blasted and suddenly a laser dart appeared. As the sniper sound was heard, a sniper bullet came and pierced through his gut, making him making him cough huge amount of blood. His chakra coil was destroyed on the arm. He couldn't use chakra. His chakra pool was damaged as well. Naruto was hitting the vital chakra points, destroying it within a person so they could not use a jutsu. What do you want? I want you to pay for what you have done to all of them. As one by one, all of them stood there. Behind, in front of everyone and behind the Punisher was Uncle. How do you want me to help. I can help them. Just please let me go. Remove the seal. Give me the method. As the method was given, as one by one everyone's seal was removed. As the pistol was given to then Anko. I never said that she wouldn't kill you. Only I wouldn't. You damn piece of lying. As Anko pulled the trigger, making Orochimaru dead. As she cried and felt at ease, and the whole magazine was emptied there, and clicking sound was heard as Naruto grabbed the gun. You don't know how much peace this brings my soul. And to all of them, we don't have anywhere to go. You're caught in, right? You all can come to Konoha. You will have a new home there, a new purpose to live. You can work in my organization once you grow up, and your mission will be to stop what happened to you to be spread and happen to others, as they all got conviction and more than enough morale boost inside of them to know what they needed to be done as Kurimaru also followed them. The ones sound four were now the four amongst the Punisher squad. As time skip, five years later, at the age of 17, we see that Naruto has achieved what many couldn't even think of achieving. It was peace. Everyone was secured. The crime rate was dropped to zero. Criminals well, there were none, but people who wanted to be thought 18 times more over before doing something stupid. And as for Naruto himself, he married to the love of his life, Fu, and gave his parents a new gift, Boruto Uzumaki no Mikaze, the next Punisher in the legacy of the Punishers, as well as their grandson, who they pampered and treated the same as Naruto. And it was Naruto's turn to train him to become the next legacy of his fathers, to carry on this peace. And as for the Akatsuki, well, their vendetta was put to rest when it was discovered amongst them that there was a traitor, Zetsu. And after doing them this favor, Naruto left them, and leaving Zetsu their, to their devices to be tortured. And that they did. As for the Otsuzukis, Naruto and the Punisher squad was more than ready to take them down. And when the battle occurred, Otsuzuki's were the one this time around to be on the losing ends as the final peace was preserved. And the Uzumaki no Mikaze family, the Punisher family now known as, was happy. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story of guys, I hope you like this one. And if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and please let me know in the comments what you think about my suggestions. As this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace!